Your artwork is very expressive. Could you tell us the story behind it? Yes, as an artist I like to go to places where nobody would do art and places where, which are very, um, where the individual is under very pressure to do a certain task. So therefore I went to the German army, which is a, the, uh, the most far away place that I could imagine and asked them if they would work with me. And I wanted to do action painting, but with their means. As and their means are machine guns and, uh, in this case, machine cannons, which is a very uh, tough weapon. You, you can see it in you can see it in the form. Could you tell us about your experience, your feelings uh, while doing it? Uh, my feelings were very good because finally I uh, I arrived at the military in Hamburg. I was talking to the highest possible <laughs> admiral, and they gave me uh, the card launch to do what what I wanted to do. So I had open door, I could go to places of military maneuvers where civilians are not allowed, and which is also dangerous because there are old weapons in, in, in the soil, maybe, and I could do whatever I wanted. It's, and I could use this kind of um, machine gun, which are using very expensive and big weapons to shoot. <laughs> What did you do while uh, while uh, creating this artwork? Um, my feelings about the artworks were very ambivalent, but that's also my work that I'm, I'm trying to find this ambivalencies of life because at the same time it's it's very scary, very loud, very heavy. It's I mean it's very physical. You you have the impression that your body is teared apart, and on the other hand, it's creating nice like flower-like forms. And that's what I like about the work and also the soldiers or the snipers which were doing the work perceived that, that what they are doing has created also something beautiful, at the same time something very uh, scary. There's a connection between these sculptures and those sculptures? Um, those sculptures that you see over there, that um, the army, I was talking a lot to the people and they were telling me that a lot of soldiers come back with post-traumatic post disorders and nobody would, would notice that. It was in 2006. Mm -hmm. So and so they were very, they had very difficulties to get recognized, to get help. And that's why I had the idea to later realize in a, psych in a psychiatric ward of the German army, this kind of works with um, therapy clay it's called mm -hmm. and have the soldiers making their body feelings uh, put their body feelings into clay and so the, the forms that you see it's not something that I did but in the way that it is made is authentic and this kind of authenticity is very important for me it's my work to, to always get this kind of authenticity in, in, in systems or in, in places what, what can you tell, tell, tell us about these uh, pictures? Um, this is more or less the same uh, like the big ones. This is done with a machine gun. It is very, uh, very uh, fast and the snipers, really it was an insult for them that when I told them, please put it over <laughs> everywhere, over all, because they, they are very precise. They told me, well, you want, want me to cut it in half? You want me to do this or that? And I said, no, just put it everywhere. And um, it, is, it, it is fascinating. Guns are extremely fascinating because they have this power to, to kill, but also the power to make very precise forms.